world. Come on in and make yourselves at home. Welcome to my life. I know everything's going to be all right. Welcome to my world. Oh, won't you come on in? Welcome to my life. It's known as the Tiger's Den. Greetings to all of my subscribers. I want to thank you for being with me for as long as you have and the new subscribers that's coming on in. We want to say greetings and thank you for your time. This is from Toothless and the moderators. Welcome to the Tiger's Den. This is the voice of Cheryl and I am Toothless Tiger. I hope you all enjoyed my new introductory. <clears throat> I want to be able to thank everybody that visit, everybody that subscribed, and I certainly want to extend a thank you and a warm welcome to my new subscribers. On this video, I'll be doing commentary. And in my commentary, I will be speaking on different things that the individuals that bullied, harassed, and stalked me for a year the main one, skin me, who's still doing the same thing he started August 21st, 2022. Even after losing to a default judgment of $11 million, he still continues to harass bully and stalk me. I'm going to be playing these people's voice so that you can hear them <clears throat> with their own words. What I will be playing will be people that are no longer members of the skinny gang. He expelled them from the game. But I need you guys to know, and I need you all to hear. What I've been going through. You see, a lot of people said that, oh no, skinny doesn't mess with people who's never done anything to them. And they really believed that until it happened to them. But when they participated, yes, some have apologized. Some never will. And that's okay. I can live with that. But maybe they need to be reminded of how they participated in this man harassing bullying and trying to destroy my channel for no apparent reason other than greed. His greed. <clears throat> At one time, there was a man who said he stood in solidarity with myself, Astatar, Maria, Ryan, and so Alicia. That changed. He has a question later on in the video, and I'll be able to answer it for him. This video and the material that I'm sharing, I'm sharing under the Fair Use Act. It gives us the right to use copyrighted material without permission. 
not in its totality, but we can use portions. And I've chosen to do so. I've also changed the speed of the vocals. So if they seem like they're talking a little faster than normal, they are. I must follow the YouTube guidelines. And that's what I'm doing. We must alter whatever we show in some type of way. And again, I'm going to be giving commentary on what these people were saying about and to me. It is hard to hear true. It's like reliving. But we must get the word out. Everybody thinks that the bullying campaign is over. Let me read y'all US 107 Title 17 gives us limitations on exclusive rights for use of the Copyright Act. The fair use of copyright material without permission is allowed when used for commentary, criticism, education, research, scholarship, and teaching. This video serves the purpose of all of that. I am going to critique. I certainly want to teach. It's good for scholarship and your research. The word needs to be out. There are more than myself being bullied on YouTube. And a lot of us don't know what to do. Because of the number of people that attack you, some of us just get afraid and we may even walk away. But we have the right to be here like everyone else. So these will be excerpts from videos of people laughing and having fun. Some, most, all are lying. So if you would, you yourselves, you be the judge. I'm going to start this video with one. And TY, I know we're cordial now. But again, I am fighting for the right to be. the right to be on YouTube free of fear and people attacking me. Yeah. We're going to hear some curse words in this video. They won't be over half of the video, but there will be many and they won't be spoken by me. They will be spoken by the actors, mainly Skin me, da don, the main culprit that has launched an attack against me. For what reason? Only he knows. But let's just go back and listen to what I had to deal with for over a year. I want to make sure my speed is at 1.5, and it is. Time to have a David being presently at home. <laughs> she starts off 
by saying she is a government officer of the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta take one. Hey, she about and you know what's funnier than that? <clears throat> I retired 12 years ago as a revenue officer from the U.S. Department of Treasury, the Internal Revenue Service, Small Business Self-Employed Division. Prove that shit when she get up there. Man, that, motherfucker ain't, that motherfucker, man. This I'm motherfucker went from, I was supposed to have uh, men in black federal agents knocking on my door by Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. now... That's what he thought. That's not what I said. You see, he doesn't understand the system because he ran from the system. He didn't understand when I <clears throat> started this, I actually shared federal rules of civil procedure four, and it explained the process. That was his tag team partner, Mundo, that kept talking about the federal agents knocking on his door. The men in black. That's nothing that I said. But let's keep going. This motherfucker serving people papers with their YouTube name. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. My motherfucker got that voodoo dog on, man. No, it's right there next to the, uh, next to the screen sign. Oh shit, man! I'm high as hell. I swear I just looked right back there, and that motherfucker wasn't there. Hey, this is here. Pacemaker, like pacemaker, stab. <laughs> stab it in the back. <laughs> this is what we think about your paper. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You forgot about the pacemaker punch. Oh. I did that first, but I got a pacemaker bitch for the staff. No, I got you the punch. No, you got to make a punch. Okay. Okay. Pacemaker punch. Pacemaker punch. Suit to the down. Suit to the down. Yo, man, that's that. I tell y'all, man, that's that old woman, that old black Karen. Unfortunately, T.Y. thought they were so close that he saluted the voodoo dog. That's how you have to learn about the world of YouTube. <clears throat> it takes a toll on people. They come with one idea. They have creativity some. They have a mission, maybe. But I don't think they know the power of being around people who think they're greater than they are. They gravitate to them. And then, before you know it, the chat becomes a herd. The content creator becomes the leader. You find yourself doing things that you wouldn't ordinarily do. Let this be a lesson for you. You can know people for four and five years on YouTube such as T.Y. with this person and they will mistreat you and denounce you and embarrass you and shame you. Talk about your children, your children's mothers or fathers. Let's continue. That old black Karen game. Let me list all my ailments first so we can get authority feeling sorry. Man, ain't nobody want to hear that shit, man. I'm waiting on this here federal paperwork you said that was supposed to be coming down here, man. Now keep in mind, listen. If she did nothing, y'all see the paperwork. It was 30, 32 pages. Uh oh, y'all see 32 pages of paperwork? No, no, well, I mean, somebody just posted five, page five of 32. Somebody else posted two pages. But it's 32 pages. Now, if she filed this, that means when she go live, she can't talk about you. She can't be talking about you if she filing this shit. Oh, she can't talk about nobody on that paper, huh? Hey! I don't know where T.Y. got his knowledge from, but this is America, and we have the First Amendment. That's one of the problems I had with these people, telling me what I can't do and what I can't say. I have the right to defend myself. 
just like they are doing what they're doing. So I can talk about anybody. Now, what is suggested to a person that is being bullied, harassed, and stalked? To say nothing to the harasser, the bully, or the stalker. And in ordinary circumstances, perhaps I wouldn't. But when a person sits at a computer and speaks to the world and call you the name that I'm going to be called in this video, a child predator, then I have a right at my leisure when I choose to defend myself. There was no going back and forth, as a lot of people like to say. No, I only spoke as not to acquiesce. Let's keep going. Everybody say 32 pages. These antennas say two pages. <laughs> Man, she got to start like this. D Santana said two pages. D Santana. The man who's on the chopping block as I speak. The man who's the man of the hour. Who's giving out interviews. Who's going around proudly speaking on. Beating a pregnant woman with his child. While she was eight months pregnant. Hitting her in the stomach. That woman is not the woman that he's with now. We need to make that clear. This baby mama is not the one he's with now. That baby mama that he hit in the stomach that was pregnant with his child at eight months had a baby girl. That baby mama wants nothing to do with him. So let's make sure we're perfectly clear when we're talking about D. Santana. See, what the people like to do is mix up stories. They'll tell two and three stories as if it's one. And then they'll call the person who gave the news originally a liar. And they're just making up things on people. That is not true. Let's proceed. She got to read a book now. She got to read a book. Man, I wonder, do they got anything on this saying what the judge said? No, I heard, I heard a judge recuse. That means the first judge is like, hell no, I'm not saying this case. <laughs> so. Yet again, when a judge recuses himself, that means he has an acquaintance in some type of way, an interest in someone that is a party to the suit. I don't know why the judge recused himself. He's the judge. He has the right to recuse himself if he so desires. But there are rules set out as to why a judge would recuse from a case. It has nothing to do with what is being said here. That's why they tell us when we're not attorneys and I'm not an attorney, when we're not lawyers, I'm not a lawyer. We don't give out legal advice. It is one thing to say something is my opinion. It is another to speak definitive and don't know what you're speaking of. Then we went to another judge. Nobody want to see this shit. I promise you. This shit gonna get motion all the way out to 20, 2030. If you make it. So hold on. 2030, he said, if I make it. I presume that means if I'm still living. I don't know what that meant. Perhaps he can say. But what I can tell you, no. September the 6th, 2023, I was awarded. $11 million in a default judgment. So no, never let anyone that oppose you 
tell you what the end is going to be because they don't know. We just have to keep living and run on in the race of life to see what the end is going to be. And we're yet living and running. So Patrick, it's just me now? It's just me now? I thought it was YouTube too. YouTube ain't on the list no more too much? I see YouTube, I heard no YouTube on it. YouTube done. This is crazy. Because it went from suing, remember it's gonna be like $32 million for you. So I went from suing to jail. Yeah. Ah. Jail. That was again. Your tag team partner said jail. This was always a civil case. Now I don't know, and I've said this too many times, what the FBI is going to do and the federal prosecutors. But there is a recommendation headed their way. And it's my complaint. I can't make them do anything. But I will tell the story. And I have you to thank. Because I have all of these clips and I have your URLs for many of your videos. Even though you've taken them down, deleted them, gone to rumble. You can't beat Skinny Given. You can't make this shit up. Crackheads, man. That crackhead. And then he used the word crackhead. And I don't know who he was referring to. But it wasn't me. I don't use crack. Let's continue. I have much more to go. And I just took snippets. Let's visit Supernova, another expelled member. This is when things were good and fun and happy. Got to make sure I have my speed up. Got to follow the YouTube guidelines. But this is when the gentleman said that he had bought all of my, <clears throat> well, I'll let her tell you. Sounds a little better coming from her. Where did you get this nigga started? Now Mr. Skin in the box with your artwork and your intro. Well, you damn bad. Now you can't play none of that. Anyway, I think it's hilarious that Mr. Skinny has bought your shit. So y'all stupid. You get stuff started with people. And guess what? You don't think all the way around. Y'all stay playing at the net four and checkers while everyone else is playing chess. Skinny has been on YouTube for a very long time. He knows how to play you dumb niggas. She didn't feel sorry for me. Everybody plays checkers and connect four, she said. Skinny plays chess. I play neither. Some say neither. I don't play games. If I were to be a gambling person, it would be poker. And I'm going to call you bluff every time. But she knows now what it feels like to have done nothing to this person and to find yourself the target of his oh heinous conversations he even listened to me to the point where he had the audacity to say egregious 
man, we have a saying in my family, help the bear. If you see me and a bear fighting in the jungle, help the bear. Don't help me. We're going to leave Supernova and we're going to go to the man himself. One point five. Ugly man, chop down tonight. Look, you know, big fat bitch has a picture. You won't get no love tonight. No, <laughs> this is ugly man, he chop down tonight. Look, you know, big fat bitch, ugly bitch, bro. Won't get no love tonight. Look at that ugly bitch, you got this glare on. And that's why you're streaming me live. That's why you're streaming me live. Why is she chewing? What is she chewing on? What is she chewing on? I got her messed up. She fucking up her little live stream. Hey, she messing up her little live stream. Hey, y'all donate for me messing up her live. So he's soliciting money for messing up my live. That's what he's doing. And believe it or not, they're giving. Oh, they're giving. Look at this now, she cussing somebody out on the phone. Don't cuss them out, bitch. I'm doing it to you, bitch. I'm doing it to you. Don't cuss the people out on the phone. Stupid. Tell these people over here how you got a fake lawsuit, dummy. Quit chewing that damn crust and spit from around your mouth. Look up the nose having, bitch. This bitch chewing like she chewing on some Wrigley Spearmint. And when I had teeth, it was juicy fruit for me. Yeah, Omar, like she chewing on cigarette butt filter. I don't care if Jesus come down from up most high and apologize to you. It's a pause in the tape. I ain't apologizing to you, bitch. I just like to see what she be playing and shit. I just be really liking what she be playing and shit. She thinks she talking to people. She thinks she on that hubba bubba. Hubba bubba, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, I got these motherfuckers at the real different out here, man. Ugly bitch in that pink shirt. Ugly bitch in that pink shirt. Tell you, this dude don't have no ounce of dignity, Lord Jesus. Fuck that ugly bitch. She was an ugly bitch then. She's an ugly bitch now. I don't give a fuck who I was friends with then or now. That just goes to show you what YouTube would do for you. It makes you think higher of yourself than you ought. I hope y'all are taking notes. Oh, these niggas, man. The 
right alpha. What's wrong with these niggas? Nobody don't care nothing about this motherfucking bitch. Appreciate it. Well, I'm a nasty in here. Right, Jerry. Jerry say, fuck straight talk for being a loser in a sim. All them niggas simps, bro. All them niggas simps, bro. All them niggas do is sit back and flag and all type of shit, man. For real, bro. All of them is simps, bro. All of them is... And that's how he ended that video. He does this because he knows he's breaking YouTube guidelines. And so he never lets you know when he's going to cut off. But it said video unavailable. And that's because he just goes off. And he's going to confess a little later. Here he's telling us about the skinny game. The chat, the chat, the people that fuck with me. He was awfully drunk. That said 1.5 because he was drunk and talking slow. And I was kicking niggas asses on this YouTube shit by my motherfucking self. So that's why when I hear these people and they're like, yeah, you know, got a game, man. It's a game. Ain't no motherfucking game. It's just content creators started saying that shit. It feel like a game. I'm pretty sure I do feel like a gang. When I be up here, goddamn, giving you that motherfucking work. And the chat be laughing and clowning your ass. How much wrong does the whole the ego or somebody? How much Matt K, goddamn, look? Or somebody back in the day. I know I'm Gucci, but I'm Gucci ain't gonna take the link, though. I was there or somebody. Like, nobody don't be on that motherfucker shit like that. Like, motherfuckers wasn't like, yeah, you know, we gonna give um, ETC that Rico. Yep. <laughs> that dirty old say, yo, if you got some information, I'm willing to pay for it. <clears throat> I'm straight. I'm straight. You ain't gotta pay for a motherfucking thing. See, that's how that Rico shit be happening. You take motherfucking shit like she did. Yo, any information you got on somebody, I'm gonna pay you and shit. Bitch. The fuck are you trying to do, man? It's a motherfucking iPhone. Takes me no shit like that, man. That nigga shower should have said. Oh, it gets better and better. Here is after we've expelled brown skin lady. And this is when he's talking about her scamming the people. Listen to what Dadon has to say. And she has more hatred for me than she has for him. He said it.
Let's listen. Ask questions like, uh, what if all of her asking questions? She brought her daughter and her daughter's situation to YouTube. I thought, didn't she? She brought that situation to YouTube. Am I correct? One Did point five. Okay, you heard it yourself. And he said Rainy went off. Let's listen to this. This is really rated X. This man is really vile. One point five. That wasn't no Umakum Loud uh graduate back then. That sounds like a motherfucking ho. And who's ever heard of a Uma Kum Loud graduate? Uma. Was smoking loud. <laughs> what they say about me, mama? What they say about me on there? Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, what they say about me, mama? What they say about me? I'm ready to fight. Now you see how them damn two women just roll up on motherfuckers, get killed. Shit like that. Fucking with motherfuckers and then don't know when to stop. Right, Cassie, but I'm saying, that's like I've been saying, bro. Man, yo, man. Mama ain't shit. If the mama ain't shit, the daughter ain't shit. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you There here comes the tag team partner. <clears throat> the one that started out, as he say, that I say he was my savior. <laughs> I've never said that. But let's see how he spins things. The great tag team player. Mundo Black. Now, this is when he had turned on me. <clears throat> and he's talking about another content creator. And this is what he had to say. Did you hear that, Toothless? 1.5. She said if she ever seen your golden boy in person, in real life, she would get her knife. And you heard the rest. Now I'm responsible for the words and actions of other content creators. She Santana 
was his girl or boy. I don't know. Whatever he called him. One moment. He's an upstanding man. Family man. Loves his family and children. <clears throat> the next moment. We have to denounce you. Not because I'm denouncing you, he said. But because you wanted me to read this information. And when I saw the information, it was horrible. And I didn't want to do it. But I did it anyway, because I'm a man of my word and you asked me to do it. But he said he was a man of his word when he stood with me in my campaign against bullying. But he took a turn. What made him take a turn? For the love of Kwame, he turned against me and the bullying campaign. For the love of Kwame, he made that video about the other content creator that he was speaking of a moment ago. It is amazing what these content creators are willing to do. For the love of Kwame, Now, I need you to listen to this very closely. <clears throat> I think it's relatively low. And it's as high as I could get it. I wish I could get the volume up a little higher, but I can't. But what I can do is turn the music down a little bit. And I have it pretty low but I'm going to take it down a little lower. It's still playing. And again, I'm putting these at So he's saying that he will tell all of the shit talkers to come over on Rumble and hear him pop his stuff. And then he'll come back over here and follow the YouTube guidelines. But I want y'all and I hope y'all can hear what he says at the end. And if you can't, just play it and replay it until you hear it. Because it's very important that you hear it. Try to listen. So he said he know that this, what he's doing, playing my videos, doing all the craziness, talking that he's doing, is not on the YouTube guidelines. So he's deleting it. He knows what he's doing. He's using this platform to gather people to go to the Rumble platform. And he's asking them to come. Now, this is when somehow he and his tag team partner, Mundo Black, decided to get back together. And now all of a sudden, my case is a money grab.
I'm just trying to get my music back up. All I need them to do is to be able to hear it. There you go. Listen. You copied and pasted paperwork, and then you're talking about, oh, it's okay. No, it's not okay for you to copy and paste paperwork from another attorney. It's not okay. You can't just give the person who did it credit. We ain't heard you give the person who did it credit yet. <clears throat> You just copy it and paste it, that attorney's paperwork. Where it don't even have nothing to do with you. You just replace the name and put your name in it. And y'all really think, let's say that it was one. Y'all really think that this here has some legs to stand on? Like this lady is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. With that same pink shirt. Like I told you, y'all prove me right every time. All that I just want to do my content this and that it's not working for you and and Armando Black was right this was a whole money grab this was a whole money grab what I do don't work for y'all I had no way of knowing that I would walk away 11 million dollars richer from this fake as they call it lawsuit <laughs> now we have the tag team partner oh and he plays his role oh so well he's more dramatical than I am and I am really dramatic this young man is going to I'll let him tell you guys what he's going to do and say <clears throat> One point five. All of these names that were on here. Let me let me read all the names that are on here. Lonnie, Southern God Event K, Light Talk with Rain, Rand, Light Talk with Rainy, Random Podcast, Real Chase Bank, Intel, Hitchbox, somebody named Omar, Brian Black, Big Greg, Abby A, A Powers, Brown Skin Lady, Mitch Pittsburgh, Travis Seal. Miss Coco Box, Lady DJ. Check this out. This is all you, man. So that was the short version. Let's hear the version that he goes way overboard. I mean, he really goes overboard with this one. And <clears throat> what's amazing to me is I made the org charts. And I don't ever recall, and it could be there. I need to look and see. <clears throat> but I don't ever recall Miss Pittsburgh name being on the charts. And if her name was on the chart, she was a big donor. And so I would see her as financing. So it's a possibility. Miss Pittsburgh, if that's so, now I appreciate you speaking with me when I'm in the chat. But this is what was happening to me for the past year. So, I don't know if you're on the list or not. I'll look and see. Any list that I have was submitted to the court in my civil case and will be submitted. In my criminal case,
In that case, it's not mine. So let me clear that up. It's a complaint that I'm going to make. I don't know if the FBI will even investigate or if they investigate, if they would refer it to the federal prosecutor and they would want to even deal with this. But because this is not just happening to me and I'm not the only one contacting the FBI for some of the main characters in the play, then it's a possibility and I'm hoping for the best. The more the merrier speak out. The only way evil can prevail is that good men do nothing. These people have flagged me and flagged me and flagged me. And I know that YouTube has changed their algorithms. I know how it works. And I abide by the guidelines. At least I do my best to adhere to them. Sometimes, maybe not. And I find out when they don't put ads on my videos. I was on this app from beginning up until August 21st, 2022. Never knew anything about flagging. Never knew anything about receiving a flag. Never ever going through Every video has to be manually reviewed. But that's the price you pay when you trust people that come to you and say that they want to help you get your channel together. And they gather information about you because you have conversation only to use against you when they decide that they want to turn against you for no reason at all. Here, let's listen to this gentleman as he reads off this list and then give me, oh, I don't know what you call this, but he has some questions for me. Let's hear it. And remember, he just said, in his video that he made begging G. Santana to get out here and tell the people he didn't set him up because he's a businessman and he'd do everything with integrity. And he doesn't like doing stuff like this to people that are not his opposition. And I have a question for him that I'm going to ask live that I'm going to ask in this video. At what point did Uncle Should become your opposition? You were just bragging on him a few months before. Now, all of a sudden, he's your op? Where do y'all get this terminology? 50-year-old men, mm, males. I've explained about the men and the males. That comes from Neely Fuller. And what he said is can be only one man and that's the man and one woman and that's his wife. And we know who we refer to when we say the man. I need not explain that any further. All the rest of us are considered boys, gals, and we may get to female and male, but we never make it to the maturity. And that's why we're treated like children as minorities. So we need to comprehend what is being said and not just say it because we heard it. I do my best to give credit to whom credit is due at all times. I may not do it every time charge it to my head and not my heart. But as long as I'm thinking, then I'm going to give credit. We all use the same words all the time. So using the same words mean nothing. But I like to give credit to whom credit is due. 
just like it's written a workman is worthy of its hire words are important and they have meaning and if you have a problem comprehending them i suggest you get a dictionary the older the better it would really help you in your communication and i'm not talking to the average subscriber but there are some that will come here and will listen and will leave devoid of understanding understanding or overstanding a word i've said let's hear him all of these names on here all of these names that were on here let me let me read all the names that are on here lonnie southern god event k life talk with rain Ran, life talk with rainy random podcast real chase bank intel hitchbox somebody named omar brian black big red abby a a powers brown skin lady mitch pittsburgh Travis Hill, Miss Coco Box, Lady DJ, TY, Southside, Straight Talk, Flip Phone, Supernova, Real Truth, The Hypocrisy of the YouTube Streets, BMK21, John Goodwill, Real Chase Bank Gaming, you took those names. John Goodwill's name has never, ever, ever been on my organization chart. Never. Not by me. John Goodwill hit me in my inbox on IG and made a statement through voice recording. And I made voice recording back to him. He understood where I was coming from. And we've never, ever had another word between us. If I've seen him in a chat, he speaks and I speak back. Or I speak and he speak back. But this man didn't show y'all the chart. He's just calling off names. And the only person that I have a question mark about is Miss Pittsburgh. And I believe I may have added her as a financer because she gave big bucks and no whammies. Her laughter didn't really bother me because they all have laughed and said some ugly stuff. And as I look at this, Amalia news report says she is a liar. I can't wait for pink October because I need to know, just like I just posed to the leader of your wolf pack, ma'am, when did I become a liar based on the relationship I thought we had. Let me let him finish. Off. Oh, and you replace them with man. That's what I don't understand. I don't know if this pause is for a dramatic effect or what. The video they is still going. A tale of three different documents. Three different documents. One in January. The other one in February. 
the one in January, neither of the, the, the January or the February had me in there as a bully or an individual that was coming after you. But the one you typed up last night, my name is all of a sudden added in. So, ma'am, do you really want to go there? Do you really want to go there, ma'am? Yes, sir, I do. I've gone there. And I'm willing to go much further. Because my attorney, he will eat that up in a courtroom. You're going to... I doubt it, sir. I doubt it. Let's continue. I have to explain how in the world you went from February. Salute to you with what? I don't have to explain how I went from February to nothing. You haven't explained how you went from January on a toothless campaign to stop the bullying, to stop the harassing, to stop the stalking, to, oh, this is a money grab. Oh, you're not sending him to prison? Oh, I thought this was about, oh, well, this is a money grab. It's easy. You turned and then you started bullying me. Then you started lying because you said that I doxed straight talk. That's a lie. You did it and you took the video down. So put the video up and play the video from November the 10th, 2022. When I first hit your stage after you put all of those numbers on my video back July 25th, 2022. And let the video play. And let the world see what happened. But let's continue, sir. How in the world you went from February? How you went from naming me as your savior as the only one that was taken up for you. Never, never, ever have I named him as a savior. I thanked him for being the only content creator that was willing to speak out loud asking Skinny to stop. I knew why he was doing it because Asatar spoke with him. And because how Asatar felt about me. And at the time, Asatar was there giving him his programs. Since Asatar has been gone, all he's been doing is doxing people in the name of the organization. What organization? We don't know yet. But I guarantee you, before it's all over, we too will know who the organization is who sworn him to secrecy. Amalia. She's his financer, his big donor. To being your villain last night. Exactly, Amalia, she added me after the fact. No, I added you when you turned on me and then you teamed up with Queen Regina and Doe Eyes and you all said that you guys were going to stop the bullying. Remember my hashtag, not me? You all's hashtag, we stand for what? Doxing? going into people's families, putting their children on YouTube, talking about their lives, their personal lives, their intimate lives, calling out people's babies, mothers by name, as if you know them, giving a whole soliloquy of Sister T's relationship with her husband and her husband before he even married Sister T as if you knew these people? 
thing what you all need to understand when check when the circumstances change then the remember this is my chart and what has happened to me and when the names change the people change ty apologize i accepted and apologize south side apologize i accepted and apologize straight talk was disingenuous in his apology but he did apologize i accepted and apologize but now he's back back on the team or trying to get on a team making videos about me i did nothing to him then i've done nothing to him now supernova was expelled i went to her chat went into her comments and i told her i'm glad she was able to get out much quicker than i was and i apologize for calling in my song i wasn't talking directly to her it was a parody but she was the inspiration maybe and i called her super harsification and i sincerely apologize for that she accepted my apology and she apologized so when you guys hear yourselves in this video you can take it however you want but i'm telling my story and what happened to me you have the right to do the same Just remember that this is America and we all have the right to be and to speak freely as long as we're not defaming and slandering anyone. You know, I always share the law of the land. If I don't harm you and you don't harm me, no harm has been done. But that matters not to a lot of people on this app because they think it's only YouTube. But it's further than that. Much deeper. You all affecting lives. And I believe Mundo you kind of spoke about that when you were talking about um she Santana. I think that you said something about taking it off of YouTube. You said you are a corporate thug you don't like taking it off of youtube you know dipping into people's family lives you don't like doing that that's not why you came here but yet you find yourself doing it and then you're real good at flipping a story you're an excellent storyteller not this time not me Those are the games that people play. Those are the games that people play. And it goes back to what Asatar, the email, now I'm sorry, the text message that Asatar sent me. It was by design. So you felt some type of way of me speaking out on people that you're cool with. So you tried this fuck shit here. Add my name to that BS and then have a damn thing to do with me. As a matter of fact, the only thing that it had to do with me is the fact that I defended you. And he didn't. It had everything to do with him. Everything. He loves to make a story sound so good and he can, you know, use his voice to do and say anything. And people just cash up and cash up and thank you for the generous donation. Oh, thank you for the generous, generous donation. Always at somebody else's expense. Somebody else's pain. 2023, hashtag not me. And I do sell the t-shirts if anybody is interested in one. Let's move on.
back to the dawn. One point five. Commando Black, I'm sending this message by Fools the Hitman. Fools the Hitman. Tell that man the egregious, not only lies, but manner that D True spoke spoke upon my name. That he's putting protection on that man, but let him know. Yo, I'll leave the man alone. If he leaves, flip alone. If he gives flip a pass, I'll give you a pass. Because at the end of the day, I don't even know what I did to you, man. The pass he's talking about is striking pages, flagging, which is not a part of YouTube guidelines. But of course, you heard him say earlier, if you heard him, that he knows this is against YouTube guidelines. So he just delete him when he finishes. This is a part of the extortion, just like he did the other day with the MOB guy and the John guy that paid the money that he's going to hold on to. They're doing some dastardly stuff and it didn't just start last week. This is his MO. Or so, that's why everybody fear skinny Dadan. He's crazy. He's wild, they say. He'll do anything. He doesn't care. Skinny man, skinny man, y'all got to watch skinny man. He'll do anything. And the oracle, my word. She'll do anything for him. Yeah. I've experienced that. I've experienced that. Let's finish hearing him out. One day you was trying to get ordained. And the next day you was talking shit about me. Highway Runner has just donated $5 through Super Chat. Nah, d True may say nothing about you. You know, you on Armando hit list. But I don't have a problem with nobody in 20 East. But this man got a problem with me. So I'm like, well, this man here on my hit list. But Armando said messing with him is like messing with him. So I'm saying... All right, I'll give the man a pass if he gets flip a pass. He'll give him a pass if he gives flip a pass. He has no problems with anyone in 20 East. But yet, you just heard his tag team partner say that he was defending me. He was my savior. And that was the man he was defending me against. But now all of a sudden... He's thanking Mondo Black. He's got people scared and crying was the name of that video. Let's listen to the flagging. Everybody. This is when Supernova was in the good graces of the Don. And let's hear their conversation. So you want the one that was gonna get I think Regina was waiting on her to get super chat. Regina was gonna hit her for all that corner ground, so she was playing too. Oh yeah. You're right about that. She, she was playing his stuff, Gina played my stuff. She played your stuff. Did you hear her? Everything she, huh? You ain't hit her yet? No, I ain't gonna lie. I, I kept saying, somebody gonna flag you when you get super chat. Do what I'm waiting on. <laughs> I'm gonna get a super chat. Man, yo, she ain't been using my shit. Like, even, like, now listen, I ain't gonna lie. Now, I don't know if it's because Kwame Channel bigger than mine. Because, like, when I be flagging that nigga, that nigga be like, yeah, you know, I be having permission to use this shit. I be like, what?
he's gonna charge me with sending mail to the wrong house i beg to differ let me remind you all if i can Sending mail to the wrong house. If you look right here at this highlight, it says, held at post office at customer's request. I've sent every letter to this address. And that's February 10th. Held at post office at customer's request. And then it says unclaimed being returned to sender. So you tell me if I sent the mail to the wrong address. Held at post office at the customer's request unclaimed being returned to sender that's a different number by the way this one was mailed march 10th this one was april the third and on april the third they left a notice because no authorized recipient was available. Reminder to schedule re-delivery of item. They returned to sender, unclaimed being returned to sender. So you tell me if I mailed it to the wrong address. This one was was mailed April 12th. It says refused. Available for pickup. You tell me if I mailed it to the wrong address. And that's the number that's all of its own. And as I stated, you can take any one of these numbers. Any one of these numbers. And they will tell you to the US Postal Service tracking system. Let's put in these numbers. It will tell you what you see here. April 7th, 2023. Addressee unknown alert. Your item was returned to sender. The addressee was not known at the delivery address. So apparently, maybe he doesn't live there anymore. I don't know. That was April the 7th. So you tell me if I sent mail to the wrong address. They had me on what they call their woke trial. Let's continue listening what he said they're charging me with. Now, he refused the envelopes that I sent to him certified, costing me from $9 to $10. I would say $8, because some were $8.89. From $8.89 to $10, whatever that amount was. And I sent a plenty of letters. Every time I did something with the court, I had to send him a copy up until he defaulted. We don't charge him being an extra in the movie. You know, the book, we don't charge him being an extra in the movie. Um, King Kong versus Godzilla, Chinese version. We don't charge him for looking like Viscera. We don't charge him trying to cash this was his last check after he died we're gonna charge you for lying to people like you had money because you had a whole living lot mercedes we're gonna charge 
old lemon lock mercedes 2019 with thirteen thousand miles on it you do the math and look at the value They're going to charge me for looking up young kids' bicycles and charge me for being, you heard him say it. <laughs> Got her. Got her. Bitch. They're going to charge you for trying to get mad. Yo, Amando Black seen that shit, bro. I don't even know how he saw that shit. He saw that shit. That nigga said she out for money. That nigga seen all that money. Oh, I ain't good. Hey, she, I gotta get in. Nobody doesn't want to hear this here. He realized that it wasn't a criminal case. I don't have the power to bring a criminal case. I'm not a federal prosecutor. I'm a retired federal revenue officer. Black shit. And I'm ugly as fuck. How the fuck can I get in here? I look like a fucking nigga. I look like motherfucking bitch Shirley with no hair. I look like Uncle Festa from the Adams family. I am fucked up. Ready to call that bitch broke. You know? And she said that shit one time, like last year. <laughs> For real. Like Randy said that shit like <sighs> like last um. Now who's broke? <laughs> I don't think it's me. I didn't relocate anywhere. I'm not running from no one. I'm not pretending to be something that I'm not. I didn't see you as a big time YouTuber. I was a supporter of yours. I thought you were funny. You were not. You are not. You're pernicious, to say the least. October or some shit like that. And she still talks about that shit. That's how them motherfucking bitches is, man. She got dementia, bro. She's smoking cigarettes. She can't get out the door. She smell like cools and dried up piss. Charge up for being in the toilet and having to call the plumber. Dang. That's a hell of a charge right there. Ah, uh, yeah, 50-50, the case closed, but you can run them by. We can charge ass again. We charging you with smoking cigarettes by having a 65, a, a 89-year-old heart. We charging you for losing every fight you ever had. We charging you for all the bullshit you ever said. We charging you for acting like you're really a good person when all you is is a Karen. Who pays money to be a part of something? She even said that. She even said that. Y'all heard her tell children that? Do we all want to be a part of something? You know, we all want to cash out people that feel like we're a part of something. No, we all don't. We all want to be a part of something that we're a part of, bitch. And he's not lying about that because he only gave me $24. He wants all the money for himself. So he's not lying about that at all. He's lying about me, but he's certainly not lying about himself. Bitch look like typhoon. Tugboat looking motherfucker. Ain't nothing about that bitch getting respect. Dogs run when they see that bitch. Shout out to Twitter, man. Dogs run when they speak that bitch. Charge her for eating all the honey out the honeycomb. Charge her for thinking that Gil's daddy thought she looked good. Ha! That was the funniest thing I ever saw. And he loves throwing Gil Sr. in his conversations. 
so much so he pretended one time he was talking about me in the garage the empty unfinished garage that i didn't see any children's bikes in he pretended that he was in the chat gil singh telling him good job as he's calling me all kind of names totally disrespectful of his relationship with gilbert whatever it is totally disrespectful how much of a thing that she got good content that's what these people don't realize they say oh well you know because i talk about skinny it don't matter man these people don't want to hear that shit, man I say the same shit every week english bulldog face And one eyed Jack tell the same stories every week. Every day that he's on YouTube, he never fails to throw toothless in the conversation. No matter what name he called me, everyone in the cult skinny gang gang knows that he's talking about Toothless Tiger. Charge that bitch for looking like Coco Beware. Nah, charge that bitch for looking like Abdullah the Butcher. That's who the fuck that bitch looks like. Abdullah the Butcher mixed with Viscera. Man, this motherfucking bitch. Last time she was out of house, um, she had to beg Lonnie for like five jars of body butter to motherfucking squeeze her ass out. This bitch needed a wheelchair and two motherfucking canes and went to the motherfucking park and every dog that came within her vicinity turned around and ran away. That's her name. Abdul the Fizzle. That's motherfucking Man, yo, we didn't put a pole up for this lame ass bitch. Do y'all think that nigga need a pole? Snipping at the nose, but the weed got his allergies messed up. Weed in a state where weed is illegal. Proceed. shot you out like that that's why i just took your bread and spent it because i didn't ask you to donate it she's talking about oh they taking money on false preachers because they're acting like they're nice guys bitch you was giving money to a nigga that impregnated a 14 year old no i said under false pretenses because he pretended he liked me so much so he called me ma he took advantage of a disabled senior citizen that's what I said. He lies. Keep going. Shut the fuck up. And he was very, very, very angry when I started going to Uncle Shug's chat, being on his panel and donating to Uncle Shug. That's part of what all of this is about. I can only say part. Because this man here, let me keep going. Let me correct myself. This male here is not a man of no caliber. He's taking a pole 
and he's supposed to have all these people yeah, in I don't want chat. nobody getting no negative all feedback or no negative videos um, because they fuck with me and they rock with me. I want all the smoke to come But he never gets a hundred or oh, more yeah, than a hundred. Oh, yeah, that crane that has to come by and get no hairs out of bed. We got to charge him and get the cataracts. Hey, you know when I started having all these problems? Y'all remember when I made that statement over a year ago? When I said, man, Kwame Brown got a chat full of old, bitter-ass bitches that be hating on the young girls and won't sit their old ass down. Y'all remember when I made that statement? All them motherfucking old bitches felt some type of way, man. Motherfucking hippo teeth, Tilda, Truthless. Every day it was a different one. Charge that bitch for um constantly forgetting her password. Charge that bitch for YouTube in my dimension. Charge that bitch for not seeing her toes for 75 years. Charge that bitch for needing a motherfucking crane to get pregnant. <laughs> That little nigga was like shit. I can't hold them motherfucking bags up, man. That motherfucker was 220 pounds of people. Let me wrap me a rope around these motherfuckers and get a crane in this bitch. Only a demented mind would say the things that this man says. When I got pregnant, I weighed 124 pounds. Charge that bitch for being an extra in Star Wars. Charge that bitch for imitating a walrus. Charge that bitch for having a pelican gullet. Just charge that bitch for being an overall nasty snake bitch from Oak Cliff. Dirty bitch. And I love it when they all Damn, go robbing. Where'd you find this? Hello. 843 underscore mail donated $10 to get out their body. Charge going live without dentures. Back. Charge of a going live without dentures. Charge of a being in the movie Whale. Charge of a being in the movie Moby Dick. Charge of a never using toothpaste a day in her motherfucking life. Charge of a lying on pregnancy, making your teeth fall out. Charge of her being an ugly, uh, non attractive, no good bitch and blaming it on everybody else but her. Charge her for being a no good bitch. That bitch just had to bring her ass up here. Man, anyway. I'm going to put her on the docket. She want to be over here so bad. She want to be over here so bad. Even if I'm stop talking about her, she'll be on that fake vacation. Poor baby. Who doesn't take pictures when they're on the crew? It ain't shit else to do. The internet's sorry as fuck. It ain't shit else to do. But take pictures, party and shit. Go up on Leo deck, get fucked up, hang out in the motherfucking pool. Go eat. I can see if that nigga was at a resort or somewhere. That's all you do on the cruise. Big pictures, big video. I'll be letting these motherfuckers out of you. That bitch was like, shh. Cruise don't mean getting on a speedboat in Lake Murray, bitch. That ain't no fucking cruise. Cruise don't mean taking your ass to the healing spring in Bishopville. He's talking about expelled brown skin lady.
We're beginning to wind down. I've been here for a good little while now. And this is Brown Skin Lady. And she's talking about how people flipped on TY so fast as if they all didn't flip on me overnight. But of course, I came to know that she's never liked me. She just pretended. And she keeps holding on to a lie. A lot of people, um, a lot of people, even the ones who are like just gung-ho on TY, right? Even those people were like, they just flip. I appreciate you, Rilla J, because there wasn't many. There was not many. And um, apparently the ones who did fucking like have TY's back um, flip. Remind me of what happened to me. Same thing happened to her. <laughs> she thought she was in, but she was not. This is what I had to deal with. <clears throat> and this isn't just a snippet of what I had to deal with. These people think that you can't say their names. They think that you can't play any of their videos, but they can stream yours live. They play your voice and call themselves critiquing your video. All the while, they're actually disrespecting you. I've had to deal with that. After all, what do they say? This is YouTube. But YouTube have guidelines. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it. But they do. And I do my best to follow them. But I thought I'd just share a little bit of what I've been going through and what my life has been like for the past year. I'll share more as time go by. But for now, I think I've shared enough. I hope that this video will help some new YouTuber who don't know what to expect. But I would advise you to read up on the YouTube guidelines. I would advise you to don't click up with anyone be very leery of people that want to come and help you get your channel set up but they're not telling you what a mod stick is and what it's used for they're not telling you about donations how and why people give they're not telling you the things you need to know as a content creator to make your show a success. You have an idea of what you wanna be when you decide to make a YouTube channel. Let no one get you off your path. Collaboration is good when you're doing good things. It is to help build, not to tear down. No matter what anyone says about me, I'm going to always do my best for as much that lies within me to keep the peace. But if there is no justice, there can be no peace. It is good to stand alone on YouTube. It is good to support the people that support you. Don't get caught up in the herd, not in the crowd. Don't get caught up. 
people will speak with you. They will have the most beautiful, loving emojis. And they will flip on you at the drop of a dime. All that has to happen is the fearless leader of the YouTube cult gang. Snap their fingers and you're out. Be leery of people that lives in the discord. The discord is where they go and make a lot of their plans. And what they don't understand is where I may not have access to it. But the agencies that perhaps will investigate this sector, the people in it, they do. I'll have more as time go by. Not to relive the pain of what I've gone through, but to share in hopes that I can keep someone else from going through the exact same pain. Some of those people have left YouTube and maybe they were ashamed of their behavior, maybe not. Maybe they were not making the money they thought they were going to make because it seems that money drives these people on YouTube to do the strangest things. I've gone through an entire video and haven't given you guys not one song. So let me play one or two songs and then I'm going to say good night. Even though it's early morning. He's in love with the choco. He's a trucker and a wrangler. He's in love with the choco. Known as the trucking strangler. He's in love with the choco. He ducks our kids, our parents, our house. He's in love with the choco. Now we scared as a church mouse. He's in love with the choco. He's a trucker and a wrangler. He's in love with the choco. Known as the trucking strangler. Money, 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 money. Money. Money, 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 money. Some people will sell you out. Do you know what I'm talking about? Some people tell jokes of dirt. They don't care who feelings they hurt. Also from times of old, the games to be sold and not told. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Hang around YouTube and you will find out about that mean, oh mean, mean green, almighty dollar, cash money. Well, people don't let money, oh, don't let money change you, almighty dollar, cash money. People don't let money, money, money. Don't let money change you. Almighty dollar. They just keep on scamming and scamming everybody. Check them out, scamming and scamming everybody. I tell y'all, people don't let money. Oh, oh, don't let money change you. Money, 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 money. Money. 
See that old man over there in his chair. This old man is living in the bottle. He done quit his nine to five. He drink full time and now he's living in the bottle. Well, see that old man over there in his chair. This old man got a problem and it's a bad one. Now he done pawned off everything. His old woman wedding ring for the bottle. Wow, well, and don't you think it's a crime? When time after time, people living in the bottle. These people living in the bottle, y'all. So now we've been reduced to voodoo dolls. I think that's awful. But who am I? So this is what I did, sir. Do, 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 do. I told the witch doctor, I'm tired of you bullying me. Do, 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 do. I told the witch doctor, I meet in 2003. Do, do. I told the witch doctor, you need to leave me be. And the wish doctor told me, this is how you must be free. You go, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, bing, ting, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ooh, ah, 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 ting, ting, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ooh, ah, 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 ting, ting, walla, walla, bing, bang. Toot, toot, wah, 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 ding, like a ling, a ling, ding. So, every time you pacemaker blast, I send it back to you a hundredfold i don't believe in that stuff and neither should you but do what you do and just remember ooh ah ooh ah ah ting tang walla walla bing bang ooh ah ooh ah ah ting tang walla walla bing bang i am telling you <laughs> going not me skinny you're the worst man i'll ever know there's no way i could ever ever go no 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 way look at the fat woman with no teeth no 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 way i'm going without you we're going to court together and I hope you stay free. I'm going, I'm going, and you, and you, and you, you going with me. Ooh, 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 with me. You're going with me. Ooh, ooh, skinny. Ooh, ooh, skinny. Ooh, ooh, skinny. You're going. You're going. You're gonna go with me. Let me take you back to my elementary school days. I didn't do nothing to these people. I didn't do nothing to these people. I didn't do nothing to these people. 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 I didn't do nothing to these people. I didn't do nothing to these people. I didn't do nothing to these people. 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 I didn't do anything to these people. But I'm being bullied anyway. We will stop the bullying. And it starts with me. My new hashtag, not me.
You can't beat the tag team giving. No matter how hard you try, they'll just keep on and keep on telling lies on videos. Do or die. They'll send trolls in your chat to get you all bent. You just keep going and stay focused on the content because you can't beat the tag team giving. That ain't no lie. It is written, shun the very appearance of evil and don't let your good be evil spoken of. And so there we have it. I'm going to get ready to leave the tiger's den. But before I go, I'm going to remind you of the 60 subscribers I gained in one year. While all, not all, while some in this sector gain hundreds. So, I'm going to say good night, good morning, and I'm leaving the tiger's den. YouTube, when I look at the subscribers that I received over the past year, 60 subscribers compared to other content creators, some started when I started. Some came after me. The numbers are not numbering. From what my numbers tell me, I gained one subscriber every six days. Hmm. YouTube. You got me. You got me. You've got me, YouTube. You've got me. Speechless. You've got me. You've got me. You've got me. You've got me speechless. All I can say is yes, yes, yes. All I can say is Yes, yes, yes. Ooh.